So hey everyone, it's Nemo, and in this video we're going to talk about um, pond snails. So um, as some of my subscribers probably know, I have several um, different types of snails in here. I have a bunch of small ram's horn snail, red hand, ram's horn, horn snails, excuse me, and they're actually the curled um, snails, but I don't know, they're really small right now and I'm hoping my goldfish haven't eaten them all. But so, I'll probably get some clips of those later, like, you know, in the next couple months once they start growing up. And the, they can come out without the goldfish, you know, snapping up at them. But then, um, I also have my pot snail, which I believe was back here. Yeah, right there, my pot snail. Which I've been meaning to get a better video up about him, but I've had some camera problems. So, I need to, um, figure that out first. And then, I'll hopefully get some clips out when he's, um, a little more moving and he looks like he's actually alive unlike right now but that's cool and then um so yeah so what we're gonna talk about today are called pond snails so right here this is a pond snail and some easy ways to identify it is like the shape of its shell which since this one has conveniently placed itself up here we're just gonna take it on here we go and don't worry this snail actually breathes air so it's fine taking it out of the water and here you can get them some light on it. That's the shape of its shell right here. It's got some little curls here at the back, you know, typical snail stuff. But um, basically, it's like a football shaped snail. And then here, one thing to remember is it doesn't have a trap door. So if you look at it here, trap door is like that little thing that covers the snail. So when you look at it here, and I put it back on the window, it doesn't have anything it needs to open, it just gets right onto it. And um, like um, many smaller snails, it has two little tentacles that sticks out of its head. You can kind of see one there on the top. But um, most of them don't actually get that big as this one right here. But um, some most of them are smaller. So here, let me give you another example. I think I saw one over here in the plant somewhere. Of course, now I can't find it. doesn't seem to be there it's kind of annoying but okay but okay so we have one example even though it's not really a good example because this is this one's like a lot bigger than most of the other ones I have but so um yeah pond snails a lot of people um get them on accident on live plants just like I did see here a bunch of live plants but um the main problem with them is that they lay eggs really quickly reproduce very quickly and they're really hard to keep under control now thankfully I have my beautiful goldfish over here who are very very good at um controlling these little pests because I don't actually have like dozens of them like I was really afraid I was gonna have before I think my goldfish started eating them and they got um you know really into it and pretty much wiped them all out except for some bigger ones and they even eat the snail eggs and stuff so I'll find them every once in a while in the filter but that's pretty much it and then I've got like the regular five or six that I have just finding them hanging around in the tank everywhere so yeah um Basically, if you're having problems with um, pond snails that are overpopulating your tank, the easiest way to take care of it for sure is to use uh, copper because they are allergic, they're not allergic, copper is toxic to snails, so they will literally like just die everywhere in your tank, which is kind of bad because you'll have decomposing material in your tank then, but that's just the easiest way to get rid of them for sure. Oh, see, yeah, he tried to nip at them. But it's the easiest way to get rid of the, um, ooh, 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 he's going to the top. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's breathing. Okay, sorry. If you've seen my other video about my Cory catfish, I've been waiting for them to do that. I literally spent an hour sitting in front of my aquarium trying to get one of them to do that. And of course they do it while I'm filming another video. Okay, anyway, so back to pond snails. <laughs> Um, yes, so the easiest way is to add copper to the aquarium, which one of the easiest way to add copper to your aquarium is add plant fertilizer, which I have right here. Plant fertilizer, see like here, this is, um, plant grow stuff from Nutrifin, which is, sorry it's so dark in my room, but, which is actually, um, it adds, you know, it's just nutrients for the plants, but it's actually safe for snails, that's why I get it, because I have, you know, that black mystery snail that I want to keep alive. But so, the problem... Um, 
with snails basically which is why you want to add that copper that you can get in other um aquarium plant fertilizers these other aquarium per plant fertilizers you always want to be careful about that because if you have like snails that you really like you don't want to be putting that in there because with the copper it will kill them off but so yeah so that's the easiest way to get rid of them is just use the copper to kill them kill them off or if you're lucky like me you have these um goldfish that will you know if you get lucky your goldfish will hopefully eat them up you know no problem so that's another way getting fish that will willingly eat them like goldfish but you know then you need like a huge tank and everything and um another way to do it is put bait in there like if you just want to control the amount of snails you have in there but you don't want to like totally destroy it you just take like a little um most people say you use like a cap like a big cap or something so like you just take like a cap of like um peanut jar or something you drill a hole in the middle of it put a string through it put some gravel on it and then you or like a cup half a cup like a styrofoam cup or something and you weigh it down to the bottom of your tank so it's like at the bottom of your tank then you put food in it and then all the snails will come onto it and then you just pull the string and you pull them back up and you just throw it out or you just put it under really really hot water really really cold water or you just freeze it and kill all of them another way to do it is just grabbing them and like crushing them up against the window because just about any fish alive will eat um a snail if it's crushed up against the window it just it's a lot harder to eat them whole like my goldfish do so especially when they get bigger like this one is if they, they don't even bother him anymore so he's just he can go wherever he wants but so yeah those are pretty much the three ways to do it either you add copper you get fish that um can eat them you crush them so any fish can eat them basically or you just lure them out just to control the levels and everything but don't be afraid to do this because they will you know pond snails will start reproducing very quickly and so I think that's pretty much it about pond snails and basically the real reason you want to control their levels is because it starts looking really un, um, unpleasing to you know look at and it's just not aesthetic or anything because you just have pond snails crawling everywhere and it's just it gets kind of gross actually when you get it to like really disgusting levels but um also um your live plants they will literally decimate your live plant population if you don't feed them and then if you do feed them they reproduce and then you need to feed them more and it just gets into this bad cycle but i've been very fortunate to uh, be able to avoid that with my goldfish so those are just some ways to control your pond snail levels and Yes, hope this video was helpful and I didn't miss anything big, so please comment and rate and all that good stuff. Thank you.